Okay, so the next two weeks will be filled with countless gatherings, right? Dinner parties. So if you want to take your event to the next level, right? We, we got the help for you. Cocktails. Holiday oh, cocktails. As we, knew, as, always, as we know how. So Katie here is from Henry's Tavern in Bellevue. Yes. Step us through some great holiday treats here. Make us feel like we're bartenders. Yes, absolutely. Cups. So I've got a display of three here that I've sort of pre-made. Can talk to Dave. Yes. So we have an Almond Joy cocktail here, which is really great. Mm. It's um, a vodka-based cocktail. That's this one right here. Vodka-based cocktail, um, an amaretto liqueur mixed in as well mm -hmm. with some chocolate and um, toasted coconut as garnish. What's this one? So, and then right here in the center, we have our peppermint patty drink, which is sort of a play on a white mm. Russian, but we add some peppermint schnapps, super yummy. And then we have a raspberry cream truffle here, another mm. vodka-based cocktail, very desserty, super great. And okay. then I'm going to make for you a bourbon. Can we try yes, it please. while you actually make Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yes. I was going to suggest it. And then okay. our fourth um, holiday cocktail that we're featuring mm. as 25 Days of Spirit um, at all of our um, Seattle locations is the bourbon cider. So and that's what we're going to make. Okay. That's what bourbon we're going to make. Bourbon cider. Yes. Okay. I'm a bourbon girl, so this was my um, this was my choice for right, us Katie, this morning. All right, Katie, get us get us rolling here. Okay. What's in this? So we're going to do two ounces of bourbon for us this morning, and then we're going to do um, mm. an ounce of apple cider. Mm, okay. Two to one there. Yep. Oh, this is delicious. And you could even do this warm too. It would it would make a really great warm kind of holiday cocktail also. Um, we did a half ounce of lemon sour, and then we're gonna do about three quarters of an ounce of um, real maple syrup. Wow, what is lemon sour? So how would you warm it up? Which, which um you could use warm apple cider if you wanted okay. to kind of make it a warm cocktail instead, almost like a, a hot toddy kind of a drink. Okay, yeah, that's where this is going. Um and then we're just gonna give it a quick, a quick shake here. How many drinks do you make a night during this time of year? Oh my gosh. I mean, how, how much does this happen? So, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Honestly, I've right? woken, I'm not going to lie, I've actually woken up sore before. Right. Because you, you just, yes, absolutely. Then we're just going to strain this here into our martini glass. I did apple. Oh, look how pretty that is. Add a couple, um, I did add, add a couple dashes of bitters there at the end. Just kind of rounds out the flavor nice. a little bit. And on a busy night, you're doing this uh, a lot. light speed. Too. A lot. Light speed, absolutely. And then you just got to finish it with how a little cinnamon that is. stick okay, there. Give it a taste. All right. Please do. So I, I absolutely. myself am also a brown water guy, so yes. a little bourbon. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that, that, he is definitely a bourbon guy. It's my, it's my spirit of choice, typically, and this oh, is a wow, really great. really is refreshing. It good? Refreshing. What's this called again, my friend? A bourbon cider. Bourbon cider. Bourbon cider. It smells like Easy, bourbon. simple. <laughs> you can make it at home. The lemon sour is something to you can make yourself. Just simple, um, simple syrup, sugar and oh, water, and, and lemon juice. Not so is, is there one? This is, these it. are all great drinks here. I, one yes. easy Fantastic. tip that maybe we can give some folks this week. Rich, I was going to say, oh, Rich, where goodness. are you? Really, the, the biggest <laughs> tip that I could give you is just just have fun with it. Really, I mean, cocktails oh, don't have to be good. intimidating. You can be as creative mm -hmm. um, like behind the bar as you can in the kitchen so so go for it right, right. yeah is there one ingredient we should always oh have on hand <laughs> bitters glass. i would say bitters. deadly bitters is um <laughs> essentially really condensed um flavor um herbs and and spices and you can get them in different flavors and it's a really easy way to add flavor to a cocktail without having to add a large amount of a mix so you can get these are just simple angostura bitters but you can get cherry bitters and chocolate bitters and just a great all bartenders need it yeah, what is the most popular drink this time of year like an old classic <sighs> is it the martini sorry to mean to hog that is it a hot a buttered rum what's the hot one? buttered rum is really popular brown liquor so bourbon and whiskey gets really popular in the winter time so even just old fashions whiskey neat mm -hmm. um we do a lot of um like Irish coffee, yeah. um, oh, things, yeah. hot People drinks. Drink. Yes, yeah. hot drinks get really popular too since we get, you know, pretty chilly in the Northwest here. So, Katie, things like that. Yeah. Fantastic. Yay. Take the chill off, that's for that's sure. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yes. Warms you up a little too, at the does. same time. So, treat. Katie's from Henry's in Bellevue. In Bellevue. We're going to be checking back in with you in the next Which hour. Which is fabulous. Or so. Third absolutely. floor at Lincoln Square, too. Yes. It's fab. Yes. It is right. great.